Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Adisat Gaming Time, the show where we talk about gaming stuff. Today we're going to be talking about Star Wars Battlefront 2, Hello Neighbor, and then we're going to talk about um, fan games once again, and just a couple of things I want to say off my mind. Here is the intro, I forgot to put this last time. Star Wars Battlefront 2, I've been playing the beta of it and it got released back on October the 4th. It was mainly kind of like a thing for the pre-order people but it got released and then it got extended to the 11th and by now it should be gone. And if you downloaded it and you got it in time then well done. Now I've already done one gameplay video of it and maybe I might do some more because I kind of have a soft spot for the game. but. All I will say is that the beta has done so well that uh, EA have found, the fans have said there's some problems and then the EA are going to improve on that. That's all good, the beta is fantastic, I'm definitely getting the game. Um, also some characters are also going to be coming, I heard that the people, like some of the characters that are in the Star Wars Battlefront 2015 will come eventually, like the Rogue One people like I said, will come eventually. Obi-Wan Kenobi and General Grievous has been confirmed to come soon. I don't know when, but if any new characters do come out, I suggest maybe in 2018 or if you're lucky in December, maybe around Christmas time. But also one of the things that people are not liking is this crate system where you log in to the game and you're able to get a daily crate or by doing missions or doing battles you can earn points but people don't like that because it's kind of like a pay to win thing and they think that the DLC has gone well think of it like this Uncharted 4 I think may have done a similar thing Uncharted 4 was originally going to have a DLC of the Lost Legacy but they didn't and all they have is that they only have stuff that you can pay for Basically, it's stuff for the multiplayer and also um, skins for that one. So, it's kind of like that really, actually. Like, I don't think of it to be as bad as DLC. Like, I don't think that they, they are listening. I don't think that they're going to make, like, I don't know, make packs and do what they did in 2015. I don't think so. I feel like they will stick to the word and this will be the only thing and this could just be optional if you want to do it, you want, that's totally fine. Because with the beta and demos, there's never, never, never like a paying system. This paying system may go in and be there when the full game comes out. But um, I don't honestly mind this. If I'm able to get free characters and free locations and stories, whatever, then I'm all good with it. So yeah, I'm definitely going to buy the deluxe edition. Okay, moving on to Hello Neighbor. So Hello Neighbor um, has Hello Neighbor's having this content competition called hashtag Hello Mods, where basically you go onto the site, you do link down below, and then you go onto the site and then you can download these mods. Now all of these mods are for the Unreal Engine 4. I haven't tried of them yet, I'm not too sure what all of this is, but I might take another look. So I've seen some mods and I've got to say it looks quite well. And this is also a competition, so you'll be able to win stuff. And also some unseen stuff that hasn't been seen in the Hello Neighbor games, which is also good. I haven't watched full videos yet. I intend to, as of I'm filming this on a Wednesday. But yeah, so those are the two main things I wanted to talk about. Now moving off to an up topic thing. Fan games. Every now and then I come back to this because I love it. Crash Bandicoot fan games have still been killing it, they have. Um, with the recent, more recent game I've been playing called Crash Intense Adventure, which I've been playing for the PC and it's just amazing. It's kind of like Crash. It feels like Crash 2 and Crash 1 put together and some elements of Crash 3 is also there. This PC fan game is quite amazing. Um, I really like it. I've got to say it's the best, better than time waster, I would definitely say. All the fan games have been fantastic. So I mean also, um, 
One of the main fan games that I've been actually quite excited for is Crash Unlimited. Now, I can't wait for all of the updates to come, and once the full game is done, hopefully I'll be able to play it. Um, well, of course I will be. <laughs> it feels like Crash to Insanity when I play it, and he is putting so much work into this, it's just amazing. I'll leave a link so you can go and download the game and go in. Well, I have more subs than him. So you can go and, I'll leave his channel so you can go and subscribe to him, but what I want to say is that the games are fantastic, Unlimited is just amazing and if I wish you go ahead and download it on your PC just give it a try I would say anyway guys thank you so much for watching please let me know in the comments below what I should talk about in future Alice Gaming Time episodes anyway thank you guys for watching I'll see you on the next one peace oh and thank you for subscribing and for your nice comments. Bye.